All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99 back with another video. All right, y'all, back with some more fight news here. I, well, this isn't really even fight announcement news. This is just a first look on this channel, I believe, because I kept thinking I did a video on this fight, but I don't think I did. Maybe I talked about it real quick in a live, but I don't even think I did that. But yeah, man, this one's going down February 3rd, early Valentine's Day gift. We got another solid flyweight fight here. We got Vivian Arujo taking on one of my triple threats, Natalia Silva. That's right, man. Brazil versus Brazil again. And this one is speed versus speed. And this is an interesting fight, man. This one here, this is a real interesting one just because I think that this is another fight that's going to tell us where Vivian Arujo stands and where she needs to work and if she has improved in any of the departments that we be talking about or I've been talking about. And we're going to see what Natalia Silva does as she steps up to the plate once again. You know, in her last fight against Andrea Lee, she did what I thought she was going to do as far as, you know, win the fight decisively. But in that one particular match, she tended to kind of take a foot off the gas and just win a lopsided decision when I felt like she had the tools to stop it. So, um, Looking at this fight here, you know, I'm wondering who's going to be the one to explode in this fight because both Arujo and Natalia Silva have a form of explosiveness that I think, you know, can catch anybody at any moment. But I don't think Arujo has really capitalized her, hers on hers as, as much, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, real quick, my thoughts on this one. I like it. You know, Natalia Silva, she's number 11. This is her first top 10 fighter in Vivian Arujo. I honestly didn't see them making this fight with her. I thought they would have probably gave her somebody like Lauren Murphy or Chikagan, somebody a little bit higher. You know, seeing that she already won like four fights in a row, I thought they were going to try to push her up to, you know, that that new realm of title contenders, you know, since that's what they're kind of looking for. But, hey, I'm not mad at this fight either because this is another, um, it's another good test for Natalia Silva as far as how she can deal with, you know, an awkward, explosive type of striker. And for Vivian Arujo, you know, she's fighting down again. Um, she needs this type of fight. You know, she needs this type of fight to show everybody hey, that she's serious about her game and that she wants to hold on to her spot, you know, uh, because Arujo, unlike Natalia Silva, she doesn't really bring, um, she really just doesn't bring this. Th there's, there's something missing there. Like when you match them both up, okay, you can say they're both quick. They're both awkward at times and they're both explosive. But the thing about, Natalia Silva is it's not all speed with her like speed is a big part of her her uh her you know her game plan in there and how she gets her wins but there's still like a, a good solid technique on the way Natalia Silva throws like I think Arujo throws a nice left hook and she throws nice kicks but it's all in her timing and how she sets things up sometimes I think she just throws fast you know what I mean like she has a good jab but she's never really setting that thing up beautifully to set up a good hard right hand. That's why she hasn't really knocked anybody out in 125 like she has since the Talia Bernardo fight. You know, everybody thinks that she's got this great knockout power, but she doesn't really have knockout power. She can she can hit solid, but Arujo doesn't really set knockouts up. Now, when you look at Natalia Silva, you know, she's hurting girls, right? You know, she's dropped just about everybody she's faced or rocked them at some point in the UFC. You know, she's, she's rocked Andrea Lee, uh, she didn't stop her, but she rocked her. You know, she dropped Jasmine, Jazzy Vicious. She didn't finish her, but she dropped her, right? She finished Teresa Blader, Victoria Leonardo. And I know what people say about the Leonardo fight, but hey, you know, she went in there and finished it to show that she has that type of power. So I think that, you know, Natalia Silva is the kind of girl that goes in there, you know, she'll play with you with the speed and kind of set you up, but she throws like to knock you out. Like her intentions are to set the shot, set, set the shots up you know, set the little small shots up and then boom, she hits you with that big one. You know, she's not just all all speed and all power at all times, you know, no throwing haymakers, wasting her energy, you know. So I think, again, for the more I talk about this now, you know, Arujo, she's going to be in for a, a tough, tough fight. You know, um, when she dealt with an improving striker in Arujo, um, in Ebos, you know, she was having trouble. And then when she faced a good technical solid boxer and grasso you know she she came up short you know so um yeah our rules gonna have some problems in this fight but as for natalia silva i think this is one she can go in here again and bank another win you know go on a five fight win streak you know she can go look i like our but i'm just being honest i think natalia silva she has everything in the bag for this fight 
you know um i think her speed like i said mixed with technique is going to be like this next level you know next level striking of like joanna where there's a lot of pop on it and you know how alexa grasso was able to you know stun her a few times i believe ebos dropped Aruho in the fight too so i see um Talia silva probably winning like a comfortable decision or possibly stopping um vivian Aruho in this fight because you know if you look go back and look andrea lee did drop and rock vivian Aruho pretty bad in that fight and i'm i'm just looking at how the Talia silva throws man speed kills and once you got speed and technique man yeah, well it's just next level man it's, it's just gonna be something it's gonna be something wild right here and, and, and i just see in natalia silva is the type of fighter that um you know she fights to dominate much like the fighters i picked before like manone and aaron she you know she's coming in here to win like she's not leveling down she's leveling up you know what i mean so yeah uh yeah because you know the thing i've always liked about the viviana rujo whenever you know she first jumped into the ufc was that like awkwardness you know that speed about her but sometimes i felt like she would kind of you know blow her load in the first first round or two you know where she would just be doing a lot of unnecessary movement you know um, she kind of cut back on that but there's still like some gas tank issues there i don't know if it's like how hard she you know she's throwing you know or she's loading up when she just throws like her straight punches or even some of the hooks you know i, I don't know like she just always kind of had that cardio issue. Like, it hasn't been as bad as usual, like I said, but she still shows signs of that, like, that grunt. Like, like I'd say, like, in the second round, like, the second half of the second round into the third round, you know, you hear that grunt from her where it feels like she's pushing her punches. And by the time, you know, she's pushing her punches, her hands come down, and, you know, she's eating a lot of shots. So that's the one thing about her that I, I don't think she's ever really, like, mastered, like, the rhythm to her style, like, she wants to be a speedy fighter and somebody quick with, you know, some quick power punches, but she just hasn't really found that rhythm. Like a lot of the energy is wasted in the first round. Whereas when you see somebody like Natalia Silva, you know, this girl, she's got legs for days. I mean, the way she's moving, like this girl, she's got the legs to go. I, I believe she can go five rounds pretty soon, you know, because you see her doing a lot of movement to get out of harm's way. You know, she's moving to get out of danger. Uh, she's she's just moving to kind of confuse her opponents you know she's throwing high kicks body kicks uh you know she can reverse takedown she's throwing other fighters down you know she's clinching against the cage like there's a lot of good things about her and you know she has this great gas tank in Italia Silva so I think that um that's where these two kind of break off especially with their speed like their speed styles you know they're completely different you know whereas one is more just like natural abilities and the other has a lot of technique uh, to her uh, she uses a lot of technique with her her speedy attacks you know i just wish Aruho, you know she would would have stepped it up before like you know she beat uh andrea lee but then she lost to grasso ebos and um in some people's eyes it felt she lost to jennifer maya you know like i i could have seen that fight going to jennifer maya you know just just because of the way Aruho didn't fully take advantage of her speed and power in those fights or even like her strength at times you know so if Aruho is not leveling up in this type of fight and bringing some type of experience which you know is something that we rarely see from her in her fights I, I, I see Natalia Silva going in there possibly 30-27 or TKO in her in this one but yeah that's just my early look guys if you all want to keep keys to victory hey, it's two months away we'll talk about it Combo Breaker 99. Hey, let me know what y'all think about this. This fight here. Like I said, the flyweight, they got some good fights coming up, man. But make sure y'all subscribe. I'm out. Peace.